Hey, what's up everyone? Today I'm going to be sharing with you my top three homemade hand tied jigs for trout fishing. That's right folks, it is winter right now and I have a little bit of cabin fever. For those who've been following me on Instagram, I posted a few story posts on uh, some of the things I've been making. But today I'm going to focus only on the three that I think everyone should have. And they're very easy to make, whether um, you're a BFS fisherman or a spin casting fisherman. Uh, some of these jigs that I hand tie, they absorb a little bit of water so it increases just a little bit more weight for that casting distance. Anyway, uh, I'm going to break this video down uh, into two sections. Uh, the first one is going to be very short, it's about hooks and, um, no, hooks and weights, okay? And the second one, which is the three individual style of jigs that I'm going to be tying and within each one, I'll sh of course, I'll share with you guys the materials, alright? So anyway, let's get started. The first thing first, I like to use two weights for my jigs and that's 1 32nd ounce and 1 16th ounce. I think I use 1 16th ounce most of the time, alright? But sometimes there's some shallower water or slower moving water where I want to use that 1 32nd ounce. So make sure you guys, um, when you guys tie, you know, figure out what you need, but if you guys don't really know, I think 1 16th, 6, 1 16th ounce and 1 32nd ounce should solve all your hand tied uh, stuff for trout fishing in the early spring, especially if you guys fishing like small ponds and um, uh, your typical streams where they stock trout, okay? But if you guys do fish deeper water, don't uh, hesitate to try a little heavier, okay? Uh, but uh, for the size of the hook, typically I use a size six and sometimes I go size uh, four as well. But um, you guys can just go on eBay and just look up, you know, whatever style hooks you guys like. I have sicker hooks, these are Matsuo, which uh, they stopped making for a while and then now they're saying that uh, another company bought them and they are selling them again. There's an Eagle Claw version of the sickle um, hooks, but you know, get whatever you guys like. Just about anything is out there on eBay, okay? And, uh, and a lot of people just pour these guys, sell them in bulk, you know, this one's from the, the Arsh Jig Company, okay? And again, 1 16th ounce. I do have some 1 32nd ounce over there. Uh, again, size 4 or size 6 hook, mainly size 6 hooks, okay? Uh, and for those who are eco friendly, don't want to pour their own lead or um, don't want to buy a lead, right? You guys can do tungsten too. Eco friendly, very eco friendly. Now, uh, I found some on Amazon called Aventic. Their biggest one they have is size five, slotted tungsten beads, okay? And all you do is take these cool little beads, right? It, it doesn't just have one hole, but there's a slot on it, and you can slide it on a hook, and then you start tying the materials on. And it looks really, really nice. I, I've done a few videos with it already, like my mop jigs, which I will talk about mop jigs later because it's, it's hot, okay? Uh, but uh, on AliExpress or maybe in, on Amazon, you may want to look for um, size 5.5 or even size 6 millimeters because uh, they all have a little different weight. Now, I don't want to just tell you exactly what to get because, you know, I'm still exploring and not every brand has the same weight because some of them, for some reason, they might have mixed their tungsten beads with uh, different materials and some of them are magnetic, which is very interesting. But the Aventic, the size 5 millimeters, right, it's 0.9 grams for just the bead. So you add the hook, you add the materials, you get somewhere from one gram to you know 1.2 grams. You get it wet, you get a little bit heavier, which is pretty cool, eh? Um, I have seen some places, especially AliExpress and Amazon, they do have like 5.5 and uh, 6 mm. I found one 6 mm on AliExpress and it was like super magnetic, which I don't think is tungsten at all, so I'm not gonna really portray it on this video. You know, I, I put it on a couple things, which I, in fact, let me just find one right now. Yeah, I made a mob jig. You can see how shiny this thing is, right? Pretty shiny, but if you look near the edges, it's already peeling. Like, it was terrible. Uh, but this, this jig here, size 6mm, it was like um, 1.8 grams. So it's pretty heavy. Very heavy, right? And this is pretty big. Like, it's probably big as my lead jig. So I don't think this is true, true tungsten. So um, I'm not going to portray this one. But um, we'll talk a little bit about more about mob jigs later. But anyway, yeah. Let's start talking about the cool, cool patterns. The first one, my classic, okay? If it wasn't for YouTube portraying other lures for trout fishery, I only fish marabou jigs. That's right, marabou. You have nice feathers just like this. Look at that, okay? When you get in the water, it gets wet, it 
completely shrinks. It's pretty cool. And uh, body material, you use chenille. And um, there's so many different types of chenilles out there. They have like some thick ones. Like this one's a thick, shiny one, mostly plastic. But there's some that's like kind of microfiberish, and um, like very thin, fuzzier ones. And I think those actually have it can hold more water. You say that, okay? It hold more water, so it makes it a little heavier. A um, couple things, key things to talk about these Marabou jigs. You could tie almost any colors you guys want, but for me, when it comes from uh, uh, the first opening day. You know, you guys try to fish at that 7 a.m. or whatever time you guys uh, cast when they say, you know, the bell ring, whatever they do, whistle blowing, okay? It's still dark, okay? Especially in the creeks and stuff like that. There's trees everywhere. The sun hasn't really risen high. Go with dark colors, okay? If you don't choose, if, uh, oh, actually, if Jimbo could only choose one color, that will be some sort of dark green. So um, they call it olive green or they call it, uh, you know, the bass folks call it green pumpkin. There's sculpin green. There's all sorts of greenish browns, okay? Stick to those colors or black. And um, pretty much that's all the two colors I throw. My younger brother, he likes to throw like the pink, the hot pink, uh, the chartreuse. Those are great, especially when the sun beats on it. But just rem uh, remember, it's not as natural. Uh, sometimes it, uh, they want to hit the more natural colors, especially when the, the, the lower light conditions. But when the sun do come out, I do throw sometimes a black and chartreuse. But again, if I could choose one, some sort of green, dark green, okay? Now, uh, my second pattern I'm going to share with you guys, all right? It's still a marabou jig, but it's a little bit different. Uh, I booked it up on the edge. It's called like a woolly bugger, okay? It's a woolly bugger pattern. And it looks like this. Boom, see, as you see, it's still um, a marabou jig, okay? But the body right here, I put it some hackle on it, okay? They actually make specific ones that where you could just wrap around, you see kind of like a spiral on it, okay? So what this does, it makes it bulkier. Uh, also, it makes a lot more water resistant so it falls just a little slower too okay uh, again i think uh you don't really need this but i i sometimes want to throw something a little fancier okay so i i, I throw that and also i add a little bit of flash on it but again i think the marabou jig should cover everything you really need all right anyways let's move on to the next one next one is very similar too it's, it's just using a different material for the tail rather than um Marabou, and that's zonker, okay? What is zonker? Zonker is basically rabbit hide with the fur, right? And they dye into different colors too, and I like the, the blacks, um, the olive greens, or your green pumpkins, okay? Very good, you could do whatever the heck you want on body as well. As you see, I just did it exactly like the, um, the marabou jigs. Now this one is a little funkier. You probably see like, what the heck is that little thing right there? Well, that is um, my slotted tungsten bead, and I felt like I want to make it a little heavier, so I added a glass bead. So this thing right here weighs just a little heavier than, um, you know, without it. And I'll just throw it here and just take a look. It's 1.2 grams dry. And once you soak this, you know, with the, all that fur, it's going to be a lot heavier, okay? I, I think it's closer to 1.5 grams, so it makes, it, it makes it a lot easier to cast if you guys are into BFS fishing. Okay, unless you have like uh, have a, a BFS setup that's tuned really, really good. You know, sometimes trying to throw at the, the trout magnet level is tough. I'm telling you, man, marabou jigs and all these other hair jig stuff, touch water, bam, a little heavier, get a little further. All right, so the last one I'm going to share with you guys, I mentioned earlier, the mob jig. If you guys haven't watched my little video for the TJ Maxx fishing challenge, you know, find my materials at TJ Maxx. Well, that's when I found a little thing. Like one of these, okay, a little duster cleaner, and I start cutting these stuff up to make body material. This is probably the hottest thing out there right now because, well, for many years, because they absorb water very well, which means it make your lure actually heavy once you touch water, all right? But once you touch water, it's, it, it's not as heavy as, you know, what's the actual weight when you're casting out, out right? So it still falls pretty slow depending on what your jig head weight is so it's awesome and most of the materials that you find out there is pretty bright right very uv it's, it's great um 
So it's a great replacement for trout magnets or your uh, worms. You know, a lot of people like to uh, throw those pink power worms, right? This is perfect. And I mentioned, I showed it to you guys earlier. You know, I have a pink one right here, okay? And uh, I have some green ones. You just saw the green one right there. I actually haven't gotten the chance to uh, tie my green ones. Uh, but yeah, dollar stores, dollar st this cheap thing right here, dollar store, okay? Um, I have some pink ones in the back, but I tied some, oh, here, here's a pink one. See, pink one, okay? Uh, body material, you can still use chenille, okay? Or if you guys want, you guys wanna be ghetto, right? <laughs> and you don't wanna buy anything else. You can just buy two different colors or even one color. You can use one for the tail and one for the body material to wrap around. Easy, right? Easy breezy. Uh, but that's really it guys my top three right here. Okay, which one so far I have portrayed is your favorite Let me know in the comments below. Okay, if you guys have a pattern you guys want Jimbo to try for this spring Feel free to recommend it in the comments, too uh, I hope to see more people throw some homemade stuff for trout. Okay, and they're also good for crappy fishing especially the mob jig It's really really good The fish away guys tie your stuff and go slam